Hello, this is Jeff Badger, The Grinding Doc, and we are going to talk about mounting of electroplated wheels and the runout that you get because of eccentricity. And this also applies to dressing discs and dressing rolls, same concept, but it comes up a lot in electroplated wheels. So let's chat about that. Now, years ago, I had a customer in Spain who said to me, hey man, we think our wheel supplier is selling us wheels that are not round, messed up, poor quality, because we get our wheel, we use it, and then at the end of the life of the wheel, we notice that half of the wheel is all worn out, beat down, grits have popped out, grits are loaded, grits are dull, things just kind of nasty, and then half of the wheel is virgin and untouched and doesn't have any issues. Okay. And I said, okay, well, what do you guys do when you mount your wheel? And they said, well, we just slap it on there, tighten it down, and start grinding. And I said, okay, well, by definition, your spindle diameter has to be smaller than your bore diameter. By law, it has to be smaller. And you can look it up on what that tolerance value is, H6, G7, whatever. But it is going to be something where your bore diameter is going to be 10 microns, 30 microns, 50 microns, 2 thou, half a thou, bigger than your spindle diameter. And that's okay, because that thing's got to fit on the spindle. It's got to fit on the shaft. However, when we start running with that, we are going to start running with a wheel that is eccentric. Now, the same concept applies when we have a regular grinding wheel, but what we do is with a regular wheel, we dress out that eccentricity. Even though it's eccentric, we dress the wheel, we make it round, and it runs concentric to the spindle. We don't do that with an electroplated wheel. We just put the guy on there and start grinding. But what do we do? Well, we can't eliminate this problem. All we can do is reduce it. And what you do is you take the wheel, you put it on there, and then you get Joe the Grinder, and Joe the Grinder comes over with a dial gauge, and there's a little indicator on most electroplated wheels where you can measure the run out and you get yourself a chunk of wood and a rubber mallet, and Joe the grinder measures the run out, and then he goes tap, 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 and he gets that run out down from 50 microns to three microns, 40 microns down to five microns. He's not gonna eliminate it, but he's gonna reduce it drastically. And when he does, he's still gonna be banging on the high point of the wheel, can't avoid it, but he's going to banging until he's going to be banging until the wheel wears away three microns instead of banging until the wheel wears away fifty microns. It's like my animation's a little messed up there. There's going to be banging until that guy becomes round. So what we want is we want to reduce that run out as much as we can, so that when we do bang, we're going to be banging for a little while and not for a long, long time so that the wheel gets into using the full round of the wheel quickly instead of later. Now, if you're like me, you're going to tap, 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 and you'll be there for 20 minutes until you finally get the roundness down. But if you talk to Joe the Grinder, who's been at the company since 1967, the old-time machinists just kind of have this natural feel, and they kind of tap, tap, tap in just the right amount, get that run out down to 3 microns, one ten thousandths of an inch, tighten it down, and then start grinding. Now, this concept applies to diamond rolls. You definitely want to do this when you're mounting a new diamond roll because you might be now mounting a new diamond roll once a year. Spend the extra 15 minutes once a year to make that sucker round so that you're banging only for a little while and not banging for a long time. Basic stuff, I know, but a lot of the basic stuff people are not even aware of. And this is the type of stuff I teach in my courses, and this is the type of stuff that's given in the book of grinding. Again, Jeff Badger, The Grinding Doc, talking about grinding.